Do you want to be the very best? If so, then you're going to want to stay tuned. Because this episode ain't like no ordinary episode of the Pokefine series. Let's get straight into it, guys. Oh god, where's my hand? Oh, there it is. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Pokefine server. My name, of course, is System Z, and we are in Sundai City, which is a really cool looking city, I think, so far. It's kind of like a plaza type town. Got another one of those guys. They seem to be following us everywhere, but that's fine, because we're about to get our, our escape on. We're about to break out of the Generation 2 world. No, for real, we are we are definitely going to be taking a break from this world, just for a moment, just for the episode, because I want to do a bit of a tutorial type thing for you guys. What do you got going on? You got some basic, basic moves that I don't want. What is that? Max Revive? No, thank you, Akoni. No, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to be a Pokemon Master. Okay, we are going to learn some tricks today. So, as you guys know, let me just kind of, that is looking like Futurama. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get right here. As you guys know, last episode we made the awesome choice to build a team of Master Eevee Pokemon. Every evolution of Eevee, plus Eevee himself. And, and use that as our team and be the Eevee Master. Well, that is my plan, and I have been at work hard talking to other Pokemon trainers. And I met up with another master named Captain Sprinkles, not to be confused with Sparkles, who set me up with Eevees. And we even did some trading, and I have the appropriate stones. So guys, this is going to be a fantastic episode, because not only are we going to be making progress, but you're also going to learn a thing or two. I'm going to teach you guys how to level up your Pokemon as fast as possible. Okay? So let's go ahead and get straight on into it. The first thing we're going to do is uh, I was going to go to a like a Poke Center, but we'll just worry about that later. Let's jump back to the hobby, or not the hobby, the lobby. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and we're going to go to Kyoto instead of Jotaro. Kyoto, as you guys know, is Generation 1 World. And now that we're in Kyoto, we are in the Generation 1 World. As you guys can see, this is the Spawn Town. You know, I never really uh, observed this map. This is a really, really cool-looking area, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I want to show you guys some Pokemon. This is how we're going to start the episode off. So, part one, step one for this tutorial, get the Pokemon that you want to level up. It doesn't really matter which kind. It could be any type. We are going to be doing Eevees because, as you guys know, like I said, I want to build a team of Eevees. Captain Sprinkle set us up with two Eevees. We've got a level 12 and a level 13. I wanted to do a level 5, but I wasn't able to find anyone willing to trade, and I also couldn't find them spawning at all. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> and then we've also got Flareon, which we've apparently just had with us this whole time, so that's great. But we're just going to focus on one Eevee for now. And uh, I'm going to start with this fresh new Eevee. And I'm not going to evolve Eevee just yet. Because I want to show you guys how you can level up your Pokemon extremely, extremely fast. Okay? So what we're going to do is really quickly warp on over to Smog Town. As you guys know, this place is like very well known for producing a high amount of XP. And all of that is great, especially when you have not only a lucky egg activated, and everyone's about to go nuts in the chat, but an XP boost elixir activated as well. Here we go. They're all going to say uh, thank you or something there in the chat. There we go. <laughs> Good game. Oh my god, yes. Oh yeah. I'm the best. I know. <laughs> so not only does the lucky egg double our XP, but we're also going to have the XP boost doing its magic. And if you're thinking, well, we don't have those, don't worry. You can hop around on servers and find them very easily. They last 30 minutes and affect everybody. So that is awesome. Now, let's go ahead and kind of get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is use this rare candy to just go ahead and add a point. Why not? That doesn't hurt. You know, if you already have some rare candies, maybe consider using those. And look at that, we've already learned uh, Quick Attack, which will definitely be useful. We'll forget Growl here. This is the trick. In all cities, there are trainers. I only just recently discovered this. There are trainers available. And these are essentially just like other players, but you can battle them kind of over and over again. And they have very high level Pokemon, which are usually pretty easy to battle. 
Now, I'll admit, it is pretty tough to beat these types of Pokemon with a level 13, but what you can do, because I'm assuming you already have at least one decent Pokemon, go ahead and start and initiate the battle with your Pokemon that you're trying to level up. And let me go ahead and right click, there we go. <laughs> That's how you do it. You want to right click on the trader, not just throw them at it. But yeah, go Eevee. Okay, so Eevee is now in battle. We are going to immediately switch over to my most powerful Pokemon, Umbreon. This is where you would switch to your preferred Pokemon. While this does divide up the XP, it's still better than nothing. <laughs> and uh, you'll definitely see a very, very quick increase in XP on both Pokemon, actually. I did this with Charizard and Umbreon, and man, did it help a lot. So we're going to use Hyper Beam and just terrorize Nidoqueen. Never mind, I'm already dead. <laughs> that was an unexpected twist. I am apparently full of it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, maybe consider going down a few levels. <laughs> uh, let's act like that didn't happen. I got my butt handed to me. So let's try this again. Let's go ahead and start. This is still a high level Pokemon though. This is probably not gonna end too well. We'll go ahead and start by right clicking the trainer with the Pokemon you are trying to level up. If you don't do that, there's a good chance that you are probably going, wait. Why are you wasting your time talking to me? Go buy a bike for, oh, okay. Whew, I thought it was gonna turn me down too. I was like, what? But yeah, start with your first Pokemon. If you don't, you'll probably end up dying. Uh, and you do have to stay in the battle until all of them are dead. You cannot run. Once you've done that, switch to your best Pokemon so that you can easily take them down. Now, I really don't know how this is gonna go because I just got my butt handed to me. Uh, with a okay, okay, never mind. Not too worried. <laughs> I was a little concerned there because uh, level 44 versus 42, there's really not that big of a difference. And while this does seem like it's going to be a pretty tough battle, I still should not have any problem. Well, then again, I'm paralyzed now. <laughs> but the trick is, is just to bounce around from trainer to trainer with an XP boost and a lucky egg activated. And doing that, you'll pretty much be able to level up extremely fast. I've seen it jump 10 levels in one sitting. So it's definitely not anything to underestimate, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of tough. If I'm getting paralyzed here, this might not end well for me. So uh, hopefully though we can take Magneton on. I mean, we're kind of neck and neck right now. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, this is a tough one. Oh no, no. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. That is not good. Oh no. This is it. I am done for because I have to recharge and I can't heal or anything. Yep. 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 That's it. That's fine though. That's fine because he's got one more left. Umbreon won't get any XP, but Espeon will and so will the normal Eevee. If you die in the middle of the battle, your Pokemon will not receive that XP. But hopefully, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is close and I'm frozen solid. This is a very alarming thing and I have nothing in my bag okay oh uh, this is a lot tougher than i thought it'd be man okay i've stalled out quick attack boom okay please don't have any other pokemon in there trainers are tough i never said it would be easy well i probably did look at that 5000 xp and eevee gained 5000 xp sending him from 13 to 19 already and i've got two pokemon trying to learn oh no this isn't good okay <laughs> So it looks like there are more Pokemon. That's fine though because you get more XP But that is bad because I don't have any Pokemon capable of beating these Pokemon. So it is risky But uh, what do we want to forget? Probably baby doll eyes definitely and it's an electrode electrodes are known for just blowing up So that's not good. Okay, let's uh, let's just try and get straight into battle here. Maybe what we can do assuming we're still in battle is get out some revives and some potions and hope that all goes well here. I'm very, very hopeful. Technically, if we use our bag, use the revive on Umbreon. I can't, oh no. So you can't revive your Pokemon. Ooh, that is not good. We'll use Future Sight because possibly. Yeah, it didn't even matter. <laughs> so yeah, if you win, it does very well, but be careful not to get caught in a battle where you're gonna lose. So I think we need to bring out the big guns. So I did say I was going to bring out the big guns, or should I say the big claws, wings, and and no eyes? What? Where are your eyes? 
<laughs> oh yeah, Charizard is looking as mean as ever. It has been a while. I haven't been able to use Charizard because we haven't been in the Generation 1 world and I haven't been high enough rank, but now we get to use it. And I'm very confident in this battle. I really don't think I'm going to have to worry, but let's uh, let's just give that a shot again with Eevee and level 67 Charizard on a level 43 Pokemon. So let's go ahead and start the battle with Eevee as we normally do, as I told you. Again, this is a tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys how to be the Pokemon Masters. And if you haven't already, this does require to have at least a decent Pokemon, <laughs> as you guys have noticed, because I've gotten my uh, butt kicked hand many times, many times. Okay, so uh, not much damage at all. That is perfectly fine. I believe one attack maybe should do it. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, come on. We got to get my turn going. Inferno, which is, I believe, a level 100 attack. Burned and already dead. Just like that. <laughs> Meaning we get tons of XP. 7,000 XP. And Eevee gets uh, 7,000 XP as well. That's what I'm talking about. Refresh, I really don't care about refresh. I doubt I'll ever use refresh. So let's not learn refresh. Uh, I probably could have used that. Covet? Ooh. Do not mind if I do. It's level 60 especially. We will get rid of... Um, hmm, 40? I really don't want to get rid of quick attack, but we'll do that. But yeah, as you guys can see, when you actually win and have no problem at it, it's, it's very beneficial, and <laughs> you can XP, like, level up extremely fast. We're already level 24, and we started off with, like, a level 12. That is insane, and it's only been two battles. So the only tricky part is actually finding the trainers. What I normally do is just bounce around from city to city, because they do have a cooldown time. But you are able to do multiple bat battles, like, throughout, you know, the time on the server. So we'll jump around to perhaps, uh, hmm... We'll do Aether Village. I don't really know what the level is here. Because you will find some that are like level 10 and it's not even worth it. But if we can find some more level 40s, we will be good to go. This should be pretty interesting. Level 35. I'll do that. I'll take that. It won't be as great as the last round, but it'll do. Uh, but we're going to switch between Charizard again. I know it's kind of spammy and it's not really the most entertaining thing to do. But you guys can see it does. It's very efficient. <laughs> so it kind of keeps you having, you know, without having to go and grind for hours and hours. Again, provided you have all the necessary equipment. It does take some time. This isn't something where when you're first starting out, you can just go and do this. It's definitely something where you have to invest a little bit more into it at the start. And then, uh, then it pays off. Am I really losing right now? Oh, I know why. Because I'm using fire against fire. That's stupid. Slash takes care of it, though. Yeah, one more of those, and you will be gone, sir. Uh, hello, friend. How you doing? Uh, you're in my way a little bit. I can't see the battle, <laughs> if you don't mind. Uh, come on. There we go. Whew. I was getting a little worried there for a minute. Okay, Charizard has fainted. 6,000 points. Uh, Eevee is now at level 27, which is not bad. Takedown. Uh, yeah, we'll use takedown. Why not? And we get another battle as well. Um, the only problem is we need to get Eevee involved again before anything else. Because if we get Eevee involved, we at least get the points. Just hopefully we don't die here. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Come on, Eevee. Survive. Ooh, that is close enough for me. That is close enough for me. If we can get one more out of this, I will be perfectly fine. That'll be perfectly fine. Charizard can take down Pidgeot in no trouble. We'll just use Inferno and <laughs> that'll be the end of that. Pidgeot, it was nice knowing you and all. Whoa, you moved really quickly there. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that, Lucas? Oh, yeah. Oh, 5,000. We're already level 30 with our Eevee, and that's that. Like, <laughs> We're already better than the Flareon that we had. Charm? Don't really need Charm, I don't believe. But, uh, yeah. And I've already got, like, coins. You get coins from it and everything. It's extremely beneficial and fun, really, that when you have time to go and just play. So I'm going to do a few more trainer battles, and we're going to see how high we can get Eevee. Uh, and I really don't want it to pass my Umbreon or anything, but yeah. So let's go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll catch you guys here in a moment. All right, so a few things kind of kept me from being able to really utilize the Lucky Egg and XP boost. So I really didn't get far, but we got up to level 33, which is really not that bad when you think about it. Considering we were all the way down to like level 12 when we started, 
that is definitely a very fast way to do that. And as you can see on the sidebar, I still have my lucky egg. So within 30 minutes, we went up by 20 XP levels and even leveled up Charizard by two. I think that has to say something, right? <laughs> so that is definitely how you want to level up your Pokemon. So step one, again, use Lucky Eggs and XP Boost. Step two, Battle Trainers. And always use one weak Pokemon that you're trying to level up and one amazing Pokemon that you're trying to just use to win. That's pretty much my secret. So that's how I got Umbreon to level 44, Espeon to level 31, this Eevee to level 33 so quick. I haven't even touched Flareon. Uh, but I do want to go ahead before the end of the episode and level up the uh, Pokemon to, I guess, the Vaporeon. So let's go ahead and use that on Eevee. So Eevee should now be becoming a Vaporeon. Okay, uh, let Eevee evolve, definitely. So that's going to be the next part of our team. We've already got Flareon, and now we've got Vaporeon, and we're trying to learn Haze here, uh, which I don't really know does anything. But you know what? We'll forget Swift. Why not? And Water Gun. Okay, that's not bad. Um, that's the one bad thing about these is that you always have to find <laughs> something to replace. We'll forget Haze again. I don't really think I need it. But yeah, so that is pretty much that. We've got Vaporeon now, and it's a level 33. I have to be a level 6 Pokemon to use this Pokemon. So I can't even use it. <laughs> wow. So I actually have to level up my trainer in order to use it. I, can use, I can't even use Flareon? I can use Umbreon, though. That's what's odd. So it must be that you have to be kind of higher level to use, like, yeah, I have to be 48 to even use Charizard. But in order to use, like, Generation 1 high-level Pokemon, you have to have a pretty high level on here. But that's fine. I think we're pretty close to it. A few more trainer battles and I would be there because uh, we're already level 33. So I've got a lot of off-camera work to do. But, yeah, so now we have Umbreon, Espeon, Flareon, and Vaporeon as part of our team of Eevees. I've also got one more Eevee to level up. And then we'll have Jolteon. And then we'll just have to have a pretty sick Eevee. Let me get a good little backdrop here so we can properly end off the episode. Boom, that'll work. <laughs> so guys, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Let me know what your strategies are down in the comments below. I will see you guys next Monday for another episode on the Pokefine server, hopefully continuing our Gen 2 adventure. And with that brings the end of another episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.